everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog all right you guys so nick my lovely husband has brought me mcdonald's today apparently they have a brand new crispy chicken sandwich and trisha paytas did a video on it and she said it was 10 out of 10 and i know she knows food so i trust her to try this so this is nick's drink it's not mine what is this a caramel frap oh, okay so you like sweet things i don't so here's your drink my dear thank you this love. is iced coffee unsweetened yes okay. i got your creamer on the side okay well we love that let's put some in there because no amount of coffee can be enough for today oh you got me ranch i love mcdonald's ranch and you guys know how much i love the ketchup okay let's put some creamer in this thing so how have you been wife i've been great how have you been good got my really? eyebrows done my hair cut oh you've got more than me i don't have nails done no eyebrows done i had my hair done that's about it well i'm just so lazy to go for services these days i just feel like i need to send everybody here okay wife what do you think actually it doesn't sound like a bad idea no honestly like i got so spoiled after like the whole um like quarantine thing so i was about to go and get my nails on i'm like oh, i'll just call for somebody to come here divine actually mcdonald's coffee is always has always been one of my most favorites along with dunkin donuts so this coffee is literally a 10 out of 10 so good when when he tells me don't eat anything until i get there i know what it's about <laughs> so i got us fries of course I oh you got one too yeah i got one to try too this is what, there's three different types of crispy chickens they have what like a deluxe with tomatoes and lettuce which i didn't get that you didn't get that i would have liked that oh i didn't know <laughs> <laughs> it's okay and then i got this one had no mayo so i chose this one for oh yeah time. i don't eat mayo apparently it's just chicken and pickles i think that's it I you're the pickiest eater i really am and but this I is the one trisha got so i felt like we had okay to so this just has chicken and pickles <laughs> and bread so let's put some ketchup on it to make it a little bit more nina friendly how you about like that chicken i mean you like ketchup in it i do i okay. love ketchup with everything but next time can you please give me the lettuce and the the tomato lettuce and okay i didn't know now you know my love i should have known you should have known come on i eat salad for a living ready mm. oh and it's spicy too if we're gonna tell you it's fun it's delicious mcdonald's pickles are the best pickles ever fyi the bread is really delicious and there's actually a lot of chicken in there and it tastes really 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 good what do you think of it oh it's actually pretty good it's not bad at all no not bad at all give me that ranch i'm gonna tear this up here you go tear it up nick why this is good it's really good actually so what's new in your life here give you some napkins absolutely not a single thing I have an update on my Postmates. Oh, tell it to them. Without giving you guys any bank information. Unfortunately, we're not able to approve your request for $2,976.33. You guys remember i did a video on postmates how they withdrew almost four thousand dollars worth of postmates in huge amounts from my um uh, bank of america debit card and they gave me a thousand dollars of it back i think i'm not sure if they're going to withdraw that too and they never gave me a temporary credit for the other three thousand or twenty nine hundred whatever um so i filed a claim they came back saying that no they cannot reverse my money I said, go back and file another claim. And I literally just got the letter today stating that they're not going to reimburse my money. How is that fair? So I'm going to go, what did our friends say? We had a mutual friend who said, I have to go to the FDIC mm -hmm. and file a complaint and the OCC. I don't know what that represents. What does that do? Uh, um, it files a claim against the bank. So I'm going to call B of A today. I'm going to let them know that I'm going to file those two complaints. I, I think I called the FDIC. They said that, that has nothing to do with that. You need to call the OCC, which I don't know what that is. But I'll call, I'll call them today and I'll find out. And I'm going to take this further. That's three grand. And I'm changing banks. You have to change banks. This well, is crazy. I was waiting until to get the money back because I yeah. didn't want to close the account. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, no, I'm going to go open brand new accounts now. 
I'm going to keep this account open so I can get my money back. But this is like ridiculous. At this point, they've just like proven to me that they don't care about me as a customer. And I'm not the only one. So many guys out there have said that um, Bank of America is a really bad bank. And now I know why. Now I know why. By the way, you know when I eat the McDonald's fries, I like the really soft ones. Oh, you don't like the crispy ones? I do not like the crispy ones. Why is that? I don't like anything crispy, FYI. My ice maker. Mm. Oh my God, the ranch is so good. Honestly, I give this meal a 10 out of a 10. So I am at this point like furious, infuriated, so angry and upset beyond all reason. But the food, on the positive note, my sandwich and my fries and my coffee are literally a 10 out of 10. Trisha, you were right once again. Oh, by the way, Nick, so I have all these old laptops and stuff that I, like they're even so heavy and I don't need them anymore. So there's this place in Westwood where I think I can just send, sell these to them. Like, I don't want to just throw them out. No, you can't throw those out. I, it's not about the price. I just like want it to be refurbished and given to somebody who needs it. Right. You know? So maybe so we'll do go, that today? Yeah. Can we do that today? Mm -hmm. Take it? Because there's some of old Blair's old stuff, some of my old stuff. And like, and they're just literally like, they're so old and I have new ones. So I don't, but I just wanted to like, they're basically, they clear the memory and they can give it to somebody who really needs it. You know? Oh, good. So how do you like your sandwich? I really like it. I feel like, I don't know if it's like not fully, I think it's fully cooked, but it's just so juicy. Mm. So you like your food a little extra cooked? I do. You really do? So does Blair, I think. Blair does too. I don't like it. For example, like I eat my meat. The other day I went to Boa and I got filet mignon. I get it. Medium rare. I actually went to, where else did I go to? Oh, I went to Nobu in West Hollywood and I got a ribeye. By the way, I, I don't like sushi. I'll eat it. when If I eat it at like a nice restaurant, I'll eat it if somebody else orders something. Do you eat, because you, you don't eat raw fish. I don't, but it was like the other night I, I tried like a tuna or something and it was so good. It doesn't feel, it doesn't taste like fish. What does it taste like? Like just nothing, like the juices they put it in. I'm serious, it was actually really good. But for the most part, I ordered like an artichoke salad and then I got ribeye. So fully cooked ribeye mm -hmm. and medium rare, of course, because I like it juiciest. It was so good. So for all of you out there who are thinking about like, if your friends like sushi or you have a significant other who loves sushi, try Nobu because they have a lot of cooked things. They even had like Nobu style fish and chips. I like Nobu, it's really good. It is. What do you get there? All the sides, salads and stuff. Oh, because you don't eat sushi. I don't. I'll have them substitute things, which they don't really like doing. They don't. They don't. They like everything the way it is. Even like we ordered like a, like a big vegetable platter, like grilled mm. vegetables. And then it, it comes with a lot. Well, actually, I didn't think it was, but I thought it was a lot more like, can they do a smaller portion? Like, nope, it's already portioned. They don't like to substitute. They don't. Yeah, so I got- Or I'll take things out and eat it. Yeah, exactly. But, um, oh, you don't eat meat. But anyways, it was so, so, so delicious. When I used to go, I, when I went when I did at the time. Mm. And then I asked Blair, so Blair's birthday is coming up. And I asked her- March? What do you, March 23rd. Oh, and wow. I asked her, I'm like, what do you want to do? And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, what do you want for your birthday? She's like, you know, I'll probably know three months after my birthday. I'm like, sounds good. My, my phone is ringing. Hold on one second, guys. And then, um, hello. Hi. Um, no, I'm okay. Whatever you get, I'll share a little with you. Okay. See you soon. Okay. Bye. Um, so she wants to go to Nobu in Malibu for her birthday. Oh, that'll be so nice. Actually, let me see if I can make a reservation right now. She's not with me for her birthday. She's with dad on her exact birthday because it falls like during the week, but I'll take her the weekend before. That'll be sweet. So let me see. Are you going to surprise her with like a little gift? We can talk about that. She doesn't watch the videos. Mm, yeah, I think I'll get her. Like a little birthday gift? Mm -hmm. What do you think she would like? She's, she really doesn't, like, she hasn't, she doesn't talk about any, ever wanting anything. I know she likes anti, anti-social club sweaters. Oh, good luck. It won't come in like eight months. That's true. How about, 
She, we got her a bracelet. Do you think she would like a cute necklace? Does she wear necklaces? No, not really. That's the thing with her. I don't know what to get. She doesn't really, like if she gets one luxury item, like remember I got her the little Chanel purse? Mm -hmm. She was so happy with it. And then she doesn't want anything more. She has a wallet. She's so happy with it. She doesn't want anything more. She got her fancy shoes. She likes the one pair or two pairs. I, I don't know. She's very like easy yet difficult. Nicola would be like, I'd like 10 purses, <laughs> you know? Oh, Blair sex me. What are you doing right now? <laughs> Tell her filming McDonald's video. <laughs> filming McDonald's video. She probably wants me to send her a car. She's been going in cars, by the way, like private vehicles. That's great. With private drivers. Mm. So today she went to meet a friend and it was like really early. And then um, I just sent her a car. Yeah, what time does she go? She's shopping right now. I know. She went at like 10 or 10.30. I was still in bed. She had breakfast. She had breakfast. Oh, you she saw her Instagram. No, I didn't even see her Instagram. Let me look at it. Let me share it with the world. She went to Toast? Yeah. Oh, in Beverly Barbie. Hills? I think it's in West Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Yummy breakfast. Ooh, that looks so good. I've been there for a long time. Oh, she's shopping now. Okay. She never gets anything though. She she never gets she get she'll get one one thing. item. She'll get like one like t-shirt. Let me see what she's saying right now. Nicola asked me to go out to her store for a little bit, but I don't know if I'll go. Nicola's asking for her to go to her store and hang out for a bit. That'll be fun. She I should think go. You should go. <clears throat> There's nothing to do at home. I can send the car for you there. The fries aren't that good because like they sat in my car for like 15 minutes. Well, this is the thing. McDonald's fries are legit one of the best fries I've ever had. If you eat it right away. You have to eat them when they're piping hot. So one time, believe it or not, I had cravings so bad. I went to In-N-Out, got their In-N-Out burger. Then I went to McDonald's, got their fries and ate the two together. They just don't go together. They went together on that one particular night, but I'm telling you, it was a lot of, okay. Okay, um, it was a lot of work. All right, so with that said, you guys, I literally give this 10 out of 10. McDonald's for me never fails. They're always really good. No, seriously, especially their chicken dishes. Our I last thought, video gave it a three out of 10. No, because that was the meat. The Big Mac, remember? Yeah. Their, their meats are not the same anymore. Look at how big and juicy this chicken is. True. That's a lot of protein right there. Their patties for the um, the McDonald's, it seems like it's like three layers of bread and the two tiniest patties ever. So that's why I didn't like that. But their chicken, their coffee, fries, always 10 out of 10. And by the way, they used to have a salad on there, the Santa Fe salad, I don't know if you guys ever remember. It was so good. It was so, so, so good. You've never had it? I have to be honest, I've never like craved McDonald's and wanted a salad. I crave that salad on a daily, but they don't make it anymore. It's not on the menu, McDonald's, what's up? Okay, with that said, make sure you guys also go check out my TikTok. That's my McDonald's TikTok on at Chef Nina Gray. I love you guys so much and keep vlogging.